it feels so weird to be down amongst walk again. The atmosphere down here was electrifying when the final piece was put into place and we are so close now. We are now April the 1st and there's no April Fools in this video today. We are one month and three quarters to go to be riding it. It really feels weird to be down here because um, obviously been coming down here since the moment it all started. All right, Wayne, all right. <laughs> How you been? All right. I do apologise. I was just talking to Wayne, who is one of the project managers for b and &E, and he's getting this ready for you all for the 24th of May, which is great to see because the changes already look incredible. It feels so weird to be down here. But like I was saying, since the plans for this ride, I've just been following this all the way since the 10th of December 2021 and just waiting 10 months later for the... Uh, approval from the council then a month later it was all about secretary of state and then <laughs> throughout last year I just watched it being construction of um, hardware and um, concrete and then by October just been the first vertical work of the support which was, I was witnessing from here and here we are now sort of in you know we are nearly there and uh, it's such an atmosphere down there just seeing everyone come down here just to watch the final piece and um, it doesn't seem right to be down in there because obviously it you know all the weeks coming down here and watching it's been built you can now go to the full park resort and see their angle as well to see the ride and you know it's public footpath down there and uh, you know I'm so close now from riding it it has been a journey like I never thought I would do but I thought I had a go and tried it and it seems to turn out very well indeed. So yeah, not long ago, opening day for that. I am definitely gonna be there. I've been honored to be on the opening day with everyone as well. So it's very exciting stuff indeed. So you can see more uh, fences are now going around here. The queue line will be going up here and it goes round towards Maintenance Bay around the corner as well. Which I'll show you more when I'm in the park, really. But seeing for the public footpath from here, I've been very lucky to be seeing this all being put together. That's what I said earlier. That wasn't here when I saw the last bit of the crown. So that was about a week later they've added that. And I think, I think recently, last week, around the corner, find your fearless, not find your fearless, um, welcome fearless sign was added last week. So yeah, it really is getting real now so probably the next time I will be down here and probably the last time as well if I'm honest will be the test runs it won't be the very first one I don't think it will be when it happens so uh, yeah it can't be long now so um, that will be probably the last times I will be down here filming these updates down there because really it's just been at the moment riding it and just seeing the angles from the park as well really but yeah, we've been so lucky and the amount of updates I've been doing down here, it's been such a journey. But now it is that time to say very well once I've been down here once more, when I see the angles from the test runs down here. And really, we are super close. And yeah, that will be probably the last times I'll be down there when I see the test runs down there. And then really, after that, it's all about, like I said, get on it and make some memories of it, being with everyone on it, and just share some memories what I've been doing it down here really, and share with everyone what has it been like doing these updates since the moment I started doing it really, and following this journey. Because I tell you, it has been such a journey. I never thought in my life I would be covering the updates like this, but nothing in this scale though. I was expected to do the basics and try and have a go at first, but now, history's been made. Here we are. So, let's have a good time now. I'm gonna be in the park now and get myself sorted, get a drink. And yeah, I'll see you in the park.
apologies about my last update. As I got into the park, it was tipping it down. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm back again today for the first time since that update, which was the 1st of April. It seems forever, personally, but Easter holidays. It still is at the moment, but, you know, I thought, like, why not visit today and see how it actually looks today. And, yeah, look at that view. I'm on the choo-choo train. Yeah, so, um, yeah, let's carry on this update. Do apologize for the last one. I was at Mugs Walk, then I made my way to the park, and uh, when I got into the park, it was raining. Pretty much all afternoon, personally, but today, <laughs> God, I spoke too soon, didn't I? It's a windy one as well today. It's not those beans I've had the other day, they were barbecue. So yes, I'm back down Monk's Walk, and I'll tell you what, both flags have gone now. They obviously come down recently, whether that has happened, I have no idea, because I haven't been there for a while. But that indicates something now. How close are we gonna be seeing those trains being tested around? It's so close. Oh yeah. I wanna show you something, it's just, I can actually see something, it's a bit windy. Let me show you this. More staircases have been added. Look at it, it's looking good now. More thing to be added, as you can see there. More things to be added. So weird. Since the day everything was tested, we were all here standing watching the final piece going up to the top. And look at it, it just seems unreal now to think that everything's almost there and the test one should be shortly. Apart from saw over it's getting guests on now, but like in terms of like the whole area, it's looking really good. But literally Monk's Walk just feels weird now because really everything's up, all the vertical stuff for support and track are now done. And now it's all about getting the queue lines and other electricians sorting and getting commissioning stages, which should be very soon. So yes, from Public Footpath Monk's Walk, it still looks as good as anything, but it's just so weird to be down here because, like I said in the, well, over a week ago now in this one project video, it's been, quite a journey and yeah just looking at it now it just you know <laughs> once the first test run or whenever I see it happens I'll be down here getting some angle shots from here and then really once I've done that like I said that will be the last time probably we'll need to be down there really and it's all about riding it and looking forward to actually test the ride myself and and do it with you all just so excited it really is but what a journey it's been, it really has been such a journey. But for now, that is Monk's Walk for now. And I will be in the park just about half an hour, so I'm gonna walk down the public food path to be on my way to Full Park to enjoy my day. And yeah, that is Monk's Walk for the time being. It's just so weird to be down here. But it's been, like I said, a great journey, history moment. But now it's all about the test runs, commissioning stages, uh, looking forward to the merge and seeing with you all and see what you think of it really but yeah it's been a while but hopefully you've waited long enough for another update but you, you can understand why I've done this for a while because everything's now virtually done it's just the queue line electricians and make sure everything's all ready to go and yeah we know now we're so close
one thing about I'm looking forward to not being down here again is going for the mud because it's been quite a journey putting up with it but thankfully it won't be too long now to be riding it what a journey and yeah it's still muddy not greatest weather we've had over Easter but it will do for now just think Hyperion opening day will be like this as you come in Oh, it's looking really good though. We love a bit of plants, don't we? So I've been here for quite a while, so we've got new sign logos, B&E signage, concert artwork and I've also noticed as well we've got speakers which people have been noticing as well from the top. A lot of work to do with the queue line but people have been asking me where the trains are coming on so or not and I have no idea, you just have to be patient. People really want to be desperate when these trains will be revealed. Full Park have every right to have to tell you all now that you all have to wait but exciting times it's definitely on the way trust me now you've got to wait so the fences is becoming really nice now you can tell there's been more added since Jack's video yeah it's getting there now it's really getting there oh blue sky and it's sun shining as I'm speaking about Hyperia the golden shine So I have been spending down this area for four hours doing no rides, just staring at this beautiful design of Hyperia <laughs> by Mac Rides. And uh, yeah, literally it is about this now, I can't wait to get on it. Um, just, we've been waiting for this for so long, done everything else now, just waiting for this golden ride to be on it and give you all my personal thoughts of it. I would love it if I get offered to do um, POV to give you all the first reactions. It'd just be such an honour to be giving you my thoughts and just part of update really, but really it's not my place to say if I'm allowed to be in that opportunity or not really, but it's one of those things I love to be in the dream land to experience and give you my full review of my experience of that because that would be some reaction. But obviously, 46 days to go, I can wait either way. But here we are. And uh, yeah, it had a nice blue sky just now, but obviously the clouds keep appearing. It doesn't seem like Easter holidays with nice sunshine, nothing like that. This is the second season now, it's been like this. But yeah, warm weather will kick in all of a sudden. But yeah, 24th of May. I can't believe it. We are now on, what date is it today? If I look at my phone now, the 9th of April. Insane, but yeah, Hyperia, it's soon to be open. And that is your Hyperia update for now. The sun is rising, waiting for the golden moment to be opening day now. And it is about this. We're very close. 46 days to go from this down filming and um, I love to stay at the shark cabins one day at a high period room probably for my birthday maybe who knows but things will calm down by them in September so that's what that's when my birthday is really but this 
the golden glory to ride it so soon. I'd just like to say thank you all for your patience, thanks for this video. For many reasons, it's just all about the groundworks at the moment. Until the test runs happen, we have to wait and see when it happens. For now, ladies and gentlemen, we are so close. We are so close. You just got to wait and see. People just vlogging every day, every week, knowing when the trends are gonna be here, but you know what? It's not gonna be like that instantly. The park will reveal the trains in their own time. But we are super close. We are super close indeed. But for now, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you all when the first test run happens or whenever I get to see the test runs, really. Patient matters now. But we will be there to believe it one day and we will be riding it. But the golden glory is days to come. I'll leave you with this. See you later.